Hey guys, this is Silver Lava, and welcome back to Risk of Rain. This is episode 3, and we're just going to get right into this and start talking. So, Desolate Forest, this is the third time we've gotten Desolate Forest, which is interesting. Let's go along here. Alright, so it looks like we actually spawned somewhere different this time. You know what, we might not have actually gotten this stage yet, because usually we spawn on the far left side. You can see our crash thing here, that's where we spawned. The crashed uh, ship here. Um, but on the map we were playing, there was like an upper and lower section with a cave, so we might have spawned on the top. Um, but this also might be the second version of the map. I forget what the second variation is like, actually. I'll be able to tell you once I see more of this map. But for now, we're just going to keep going through here. Let's see what's in this chest. So our first item of run number three is... Barbed wire. Okay. So let's just kill this guy with barbed wire because I can. I'm not even shooting right now. I'm just going to kill him with barbed wire. That was fun. Let's move on. Alright. There's a thing down here. Everyone die. 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 Dodge. Die. 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 If you, the more you say die, guys the faster things die. It's like an actual affecting thing in this game. It actually hears you say die, and it kills things faster. It gives you a damage buff. Oh look, there's a teleporter. That was fast. Okay, so this is the same map, because you know you recognize these uh, things. So I'm like way at the top here. It's slightly different, of course, because as it always is, but I'm like way at the top of the map right now. Yeah, there's a long way down here. Let's see if the artifact is in this version. It looks like it actually is. Okay, so see that divot over there? That's where the artifact is on this level, and I'm not sure if I can get into it right now, because I think you need a certain item that makes you jump higher to get in there. Let me try it, though. So you can get in here, but I don't think- yeah, you can't get up this ledge here without an item that allows you to jump higher. If I come down here, where this thing would lead, if you got it, you can see just over here, there's a purple item. And that's the artifact for this stage. And if I were to collect that artifact, like, if I get a jump thing, I'll be able to collect that artifact. And before I start a game, I'll be able to turn that artifact on and have something different happen. You saw the second stage in my last game. I had a stage with an artifact on it. I had to press that button, but I died before I had a chance to get over to the button. So, but if we get a jump item in this stage, then we might actually be able to get that one. There's, uh, two different jump items. There's an actual jetpack, which allows you to kind of jump and then fly. And there's, like, just booster things that allow you to jump a bit higher. And I think we actually are going to need two of those booster things if we're going to be able to get up there, because it's pretty high. And the booster things don't help much. But if we get a jetpack, which is pretty unlikely, because that's a red outlined item, we should be able to get up there easily. But we'll see what happens. We've only gotten white items so far, so anything can happen at this point. And that's the beauty of randomly generated maps. Alright, let's get up here. 50, yes. Can I make it? Oh, I can just go up here. Yeah. I've got exactly 100. This will take me on to exactly 50. Actually, now I have more because I just killed that guy. Again! Alright. Three out of three, we've gotten that item. Cool. I missed that thing. Okay, is there anything new down here? These are both items, and I don't really like either of these, so I'm gonna get the War Banner. And you guys saw what that does in the second episode, so when I level up, it'll drop a War Banner, which will give me increased stats. Alright, so no new items so far. Uh, I can probably do this thing if I do this and then run over here so they all go this way. Oh, shoot, they're running. I didn't know they could jump. Shoot, shoot, die, die, die. Okay, kill this guy. Oh, a log on them. I need that log. Okay, so we got a log on the tiny imps. Uh, there's a guy up there. I'm not gonna be able to get him in time. Yeah. Dang. Alright, well, I got experience from them at least. We got a chest down here. Oh, I actually don't have enough money for that. Um, okay. Okay, here's some guys I can try to kill. Let's get this guy. So, if you couldn't tell, I actually do have sound this time. Um, I forgot to enable it in my recording thing last time, so I had to add the music in in post. But this time, there is music, um, and the fire and stuff. So, yeah. I actually really like the music in this game. It's, uh, it's kind of like a techno thing. I'm not sure, there's a genre name for it, I forget what it's called. But it's like techno something. Let's take it 20. Oh wait, no, it was that one that I used. This is another one. Okay, well we can dodge over here. Hit that guy. Fire. Yes! Okay, we got those guys. Attack faster, lower health. That's a new one. So that means that if I'm like in a tricky situation, there's a third imp spawner down here. There are three imp spawners like right next to each other on this map. Wow. And this one's going to be easy because I can trap them as soon as I kill these three powerful enemies here. 
so you can see my health is getting lower, and I'm actually attacking faster now. I think the I think that you see the flame on me. That little flame, the blue flame that's coming up for me, that means I'm attacking faster because I'm at lower health. Yeah, okay, there's a there's a war banner that I'll definitely use for it here. I should probably dodge with this guy, because those green wisps thing, I think they're called greater wisps, they're actually really powerful. Nope. Okay. Run faster. Alright, we already have that item. That's fine. Oh, this is green. Um, I have no idea what the green does. I'm, ass I'm assuming, I think I've said this before, but I'm assuming like, the different colors just mean they have different statistics for stuff. So, like, red means they can set the ground on fire. Um, I think, like, gold means they're just, like, more powerful. Green might mean something like more health or more damage or whatever. Oh, wow. Uh, do war banners stack? I don't actually know if, like, war banners stack. So if you have multiple war banners on top of each other. They might actually stack. I'm not sure. Okay, I need to get out of here, actually. Uh, but I want to stay in the war banners because they'll help me heal faster. Alright, we're going to try to kill these guys. And I'm actually going to activate this imp thing again. See what I get. Glasses. Alright, let's make it glasses. And that imp thing broke. I can get this one up here, though. So let's do that. Uh, Ghost of Souls and stuff. I had that one last time, too. Alright, is there any other chests over here? That's the question. Yeah, see, this guy's red and he sets the ground on fire. So that's what the red ones do. But I'm not sure about the other colors. Alright, um, I failed this one last time, but we'll try it now. Again. Yeah, they're all running this way, that's the problem. Oh, my, uh, thing killed him. One more left, one more. I got, I'm gonna get this guy. I can get this guy in time. No, 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 get down, get down. Where is he? Oh, he went back up! No, you cheater! You freaking cheater! Ah, oh, that sucks. He jumped back up. That was so mean. Alright, we're done. Let's get up here. We're gonna go to the other side of the map. Um, we just entered easy mode a while ago, so... Oh, there's a container up there. I wanna save money because there might be like greater chests somewhere, so I'm not gonna get that drone. The weak drones are kinda useless, although there are drones later on that are like really useful, but that doesn't happen until like the fourth or the fifth levels that you start to see really useful drones. The more I play this though, I can tell you the more I play this, the better I'm getting at it. So each time, each episode, you'll probably see me getting better at it as I'm relearning the game. So after a few episodes, we should be able to um, play the game pretty well and actually get past the third stage with this guy. Okay, but right now I'm going to go activate the teleporter because I don't think there's anything else on this map. And hopefully we'll get something besides the Vagrant this time because I really want that second character. Ready? What is it? Oh my god, alright. You know what, Vagrant? You're really annoying. That's all I have to say. Alright, so we've gotten the Vagrant three times in a row. That's great. Let's just kill this as quickly as possible. Hopefully it'll at least give me a, a good item when it dies. Because last time it didn't give me a good item at all. This item was horrible. We're gonna dodge away from these guys. We're actually gonna use that thing to get some ghosts of all those guys. Kill them quickly. There we go. So there's a lot of ghosts now everywhere. I'm hoping to level up here so I get a war banner somewhere. There we go, war banner. That's what I wanted. Alright, so now I'll just try to stay in this war banner while avoiding these guys' colorful shots. Okay. Keep going. Fire. Dodge. Fire. D fire, fire. He's almost dead. Okay, please give me a good item. Ready? Yes! Okay, that is my favorite item. So the yellow outline, we haven't seen those yet. This is a boss item. And the boss items are... can only be dropped by bosses, obviously. But they're like, give you the boss's power. So this thing will actually give me the power that you saw me using on him. Ready? This is amazing. Ready? Bam! That is one of my favorite used items. I'm really happy I got that. So only the Vagrant could drop that, because it's his power. But that's their first out yellow outlined item. And I think the only, um, we've seen all the outlines before. It's, uh, white outline is common items, green outline is a little bit more rare, red item, red outline is the rarest, orange means use, um, purple means it's an artifact, which you saw down here at the bottom of this level, and yellow means it's a boss item. And the boss items can actually be used or, they can actually be here or here. This one just happens to be here, but I think most of them are the buffs items. Like, I know the Mangle Worms just sets the ground on fire every once in a while. Every time you take damage, the ground starts setting set on fire. And that's uh, an ability item, not a use item. 
And there's other ones that I forget what they do. But hopefully we'll get to kill another boss this episode. And find out. Alright, so yeah, I might as well take these drones because, you know, I have a lot of money left and I'm going to use it all in a second. Let's use this thing again. Kill those guys down there somewhat. Now, obviously, that boss item that I got, um, it'll, like, increase and decrease based on my, um, attacking stuff. So, if I get things that do more power, it'll do more power. So, right now, it's not that powerful because I don't have any power items. Um, I have the double... What power items do I have? I have the double damage thing, and that's really it. I have chance to do double damage and uh, attack faster at lower health, but that's really it. Those th items don't really affect the uh, use item. But they're all, like, attack from more stuff. Before I leave this level, I'm at I am at 10 minutes, so I just switched to medium difficulty. But I want to see if there's just anything that I missed anywhere. I don't think so. Anything up there? No. All right, we're just gonna go because I don't want to take much time much time in this level. I'm already on medium difficulty. I think this might actually be the first time I'm going to the third stage on medium difficulty. I'm usually at hard difficulty, so I might have better luck here. Let's see which variant we get. Sky Meadow again. All right, so this is the variant that we got in the first episode, and. Again, there's no bridge here. There is, I'm, I swear there's usually a bridge across those sections. But right up there, the place where we spawn, that's where we died. That's the place we died in the first episode. So let's not have that happen again. In fact, we're going to kill all these jellyfish. They're the ones that kill me here. There we go. Alright, well, do we got the... Uh, if the artifact is here, there would be a break in the ground, like right around here. That's where the artifact is on this level. And I don't see it, so unfortunately no artifact here. We're going to use that. It's every 20 seconds or so, so I can pretty I can use it pretty frequently. Ouch. There we go. Alright. Let's get over here. So there's a teleporter already. And I remember a boss spawned here last time, which is kind of what ruined me when a boss spawned and killed me. So I want to try to get out of here before the bosses start spawning. Because if you spend too long in a stage, second stage and on, if you spend too long in a stage... So that's a new thing. Um, that's a health item, basically. Every time you kill an enemy, it drops a little nugget thing, which gives you more health. So on the second stage and up, the bigger chests will start to have like more rare items. So I'm really, I'm gonna go for that chest next because I'm hoping it'll have a really good item in it. I just took fall damage there. It doesn't happen unless you fall from really far. I'm not seeing any enemies though, which is interesting. It's gonna go to hard defaulty soon, so they'll start spawning nonstop. Let's kill these guys up here. And uh. That boss item is one of the homing up weapons I was talking about in the first episode. So if there's like no enemies on your screen, it, but there's enemies off your screen, like in another part of the level, and you fire, it'll like go all the way to those enemies in another part of your screen. Okay, I need to move here actually, wow. Let's move up here and regain a bit of health. We'll use this thing to try to get these guys. There we go. I can kill this guy now. Oh shoot, they all teleported. Okay, I do want to die here, that'd be pretty quick to die. I'm gonna try to avoid death here. I want to kill these guys, but I'm afraid more of them are gonna spawn. Oh, they teleport you. It's so annoying. Okay. Oh shoot, they can hit me from down there. Can they? Oh shoot, jellyfish. Okay. Get okay, up, fire this, fire this. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Get out. I just need to get out of here. Okay, fall damage. I took a bit of fall damage there. I'm actually doing really bad right now. I need to stand still and get more health. Basically, is what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, do I have any? I need a war banner. Is what I need. But I'm not even close to leveling up, and those guys keep killing me. It's really annoying. I need to just avoid enemies for a while. Gain health back. So like I said, if I fire this with no enemies on the screen, it'll go to the nearest enemy. So I just actually hit enemies there. Ah, there's so many enemies spawning now. I have no health items. This is a big problem, actually. I could dive here pretty quickly. I'm going for that big chest up there because I really want an item, but I have to kill things first to get any items that could be in there. Oh, no! Alright, well... I didn't do so well that time. I didn't get very many health items. So I got nothing. Alright, so that was a failed run. Let's go back to the menu and look at the item log. We did get this. This and this. Those are the only three new items. So you actually click on these to look at what they do. Apparently those are called nematocytics. Tocytics? Nematocysts. Nematocysts, I guess. That deal 200% damage. Alright. So, yeah, how do I get out of this? There's an X right there. Yeah, we can click on any of these. So this one, we can click on it. You can read all those. 
And anything else? We got a monster log. That's right, we got the imps. So, tiny imp. Field notes. I seem to have found one the one creature on this planet that doesn't want to kill me. These small, leathery creatures are spawned from vases that I sometimes spot in the ruins. Vases, whatever. Um, they seem to stay in packs and frequently carry useful treasure. Immediately after spawning, these tiny imps run in all directions. While I do feel a bit awful about killing what seems to be the equivalent of children, I need the treasure they hold yeah, if I'm to survive. I'm sorry. Alright, so there's the tiny imps that spawned from those statues. And apparently we did get something else here. Oh, fastest boss kills. We killed that boss in less time than usual. That's interesting. And we spent more time untouched, but that was it. Okay, so that this has gone on for about 15 minutes, I think. Hmm. There's not really much else I can do here. Um, here. So I can I can talk about a bit about some screens in here, I guess. So difficulty, we got drizzle, rainstorm, and monsoon, because it's obviously called like risk of rain, so you know. Difficulty levels. Um, I might switch it to drizzle at some point, just to try to get some of the motor achievements. I'm not sure though if we can actually get anything from this mode. And this is this says is the way the game is meant to be played. Anyway, down here we have the ten artifacts. That's ten, right? Yes. So these are found in each stage. Um, I think the one I that I saw was this one. I forget what it does though. And we got a bunch of different characters here. Yes. Okay. So let's uh let's take this. Turn to menu. Yes. And go to here. Let's look at some achievements that I can try to get in the next run. Cause I don't think I have enough time for another run this episode. Um. But hopefully I'll do a lot better next episode. Okay, so. Complete the first stage in under five minutes. That one is when I'll have to go for it at some point, like, on purpose. I'll have to, like, usually you want to stay around and collect items. But if you just find the teleporter and kill everything as fast as possible, that one's easy. But then you're going to die pretty quickly in the next episode because you'll have, like, no items. Survive a boss with less than 20% health. So I guess that means, like, kill a boss when you have a little amount of health. That'll just have to happen. I'm not going to go for that one, because that could kill me. Uh, have four drone helpers at, at once. Um, yeah, I've never had that. Kill the scavenger. Oh, uh, right. The scavenger is that boss that appeared in the second episode. Um, the one that was near me when I died. That was the scavenger. So I have 40 minutes. Never done that before. I think my record is... Where is it? Stats. My record is 21 minutes. So, yeah, not even close. And to teleport to zero enemies, die 50 times. Well, I've gone, died three times, so there you go. Find the bloated survivor. This one is, um, I think this one actually gives you a uh, new character, but that's not, a, that's on the fourth level. You can do that. Same, ten, obtain seven monster teeth and one guardian heart. We've seen the monster teeth. I don't think we've seen the guardian hearts yet, though. Reach 650 health. That's what you do with, um, that, you get that with the item that gives you, um, health every time you kill something. It's really useful. Uh, unlock a golden chest from the explorers. We haven't seen golden chests yet. We have seen the Explorer's Key, though. That was in the second episode. Deal 5,000 damage one saw. That's a lot. Drown 20 Horals in the underwater stage. Uh, get 20,000 gold. Collect 4 key cards in the last stage. And use a Health Shrine that drops you below 5% health. I actually could have gotten that in the previous one where there was a bunch of Health Shrines, but I didn't want to risk dropping that low. And then we got these. These are how you unlock the things. So the second guy... Magma Worm, Wandering Vagrant, and Colossus. We've killed the Wandering Vagrant three times now, but never seen the Magma Worm or the Colossus, which is really annoying. Then beat the third stage. This is the guy that I'm really like. I think this is the Bandit, um, which I'm going to use a lot. Collect 15 Monster Logs. Well, we're at three, so I'm actually on progress to that one. Purchase 40 drones total. So I might want to actually start purchasing drones to try to get that one. Clear Path of the Survivor. Beat the game. Free the Chain Creature. Beat the game five times. Obtain 30 items in one playthrough. Obtain meat nuggets, bustling fungus, sprouting egg, bitter root, and foreign fruit in one run. That's an interesting combo of items. So I remember these up to here. This was the last guy I remember. I do, I have no idea what this one and this one are. So I'll have to discover those together. Obtain 30 items in one playthrough. That's a lot, actually. That's like three rows of items. All right, but anyway, I don't want to talk too long because this is probably at 20 minutes now. So, thanks for watching. In the next episode, we will probably do a lot better than we did. I'll be more prepared. Um, might even, like, I might even, we've done, like, three straight runs of this. I might start cutting stuff out, making it faster, so I can do, like, more than one run an episode. Um, but for these first three episodes, I wanted to just show, like, how the game works, basically. 
But I think in the next episode we're going to start like doing multiple runs per episode and cutting stuff out. So it should get a lot faster and you won't have to watch as much in an episode. But anyway, before this goes on too long, thank you for watching Risk of Rain episode number 3. My name is Silverlava and I will see you next time. Goodbye.